I'm going to tell you a story. I think what attracted my parents to this organization, this cult, was really the certainty of it. It's a real power to know exactly what is going to happen when you die, where things stand, what the universe looks like. For me growing up, it was kind of like being Harry Potter and everybody else was a muggle. I really was a true believer, a true believer in the truest sense in that I thought that everything was as it was laid out for me. The Heaven's Gate story sounds familiar. I know what it's like to believe something that no one else believes. I think to some degree, I understand where these people were coming from. These are searchers, these are seekers, these are people who want to do good in the world, who do have a spiritual side that they want to explore. And in this case, it was corrupted, I think, by someone who maybe didn't have their best interest at heart. And I could have, I can see that my own background with one more writer, one little jog left, could have taken a very similar turn. The reason why the story of Heaven's Gate scares me so much is because I could see my own organization primed to do very much the same thing if the leader had said, this is what we're gonna do. Would everyone have done it? No. Would everyone have drank some chemical barbiturate Kool-Aid? No. But would 60, 70 percent of people do it? Because our leader said to? I would think they would. And just that idea that your very existence is so dependent on the whims of some distant leader is scary. What happened here is that one person led a group of good people into his own madness. For me, it's a personal do-over. I get to go down that path that I fortunately rejected in my teens and say, what if? What if I had stuck by this belief system? What if I had let someone's theology dictate my path? Where would I be right now? What would have happened? And I think because of my background, it's really, really easy for me to see myself in that San Diego mansion. And I just really, I can't help but wonder what I have done.